Hello, in this video, we're going to talk about approval workflows for reservations. Now, firstly, you need to go ahead and enable this from your settings. Just click on the gear icon over here and go to your company settings, and you'll see a few options for arbitration over here. Similar to how you can approve or deny requests for check-ins and checkouts, you can extend the same logic to your reservations as well. Just keep in mind that if you have enabled or if you've restricted access for your members via groups and locations, you might want to go ahead and select arbitration from the first section in access control. However, if you haven't applied any kind of user listing, just scroll down a bit and go to arbitration for users without user listings and enable arbitrations on the type of items you want to do this for. Now, where does this workflow come in hand? A lot of organizations have people on site that need to reserve equipment, but they're not authorized to do so without having their supervisor approve or deny it. So in that kind of a situation, with this feature enabled, now your staff user will not be allowed to directly assign or reserve items, uh, directly reserve items for themselves. You'll get all of the notifications from the bell icon over here, which you can then later decide what kind of action you wanna take on. Now let's look at this from the staff user's end. So this is my staff user's account. When I go to my items tab over here, I'll firstly see a list of items similar to what we see in an admin account. Let's say I go ahead and select the concrete mixer and on the details page, instead of the reserve, instead of the reserve option, staff users only get to see the request re reservation option. You go over here, click on request reservation. The flow that you see after this is very is exactly the same as what you see when you're making a normal reservation. You select the dates, the location to where for which you want to reserve these items for, do any signature if you've enabled it, and then just request a reservation. Here we go. Now, how does this work out for the administrator? Well, an administrator will then go to the notification bell over here, go to the reservation request tab, and over there they'll see the number of items or the requests that are coming in. When I click on this, it basically lets me know what the item is, what type of item it is, what the actual item is and what kind of action do I want to take on this? Do I want to approve it or do I want to cancel it? For now, let's go ahead and cancel this reservation request. You can provide a reason for cancellation as well and proceed. So right now the system is capable of performing a single tier of approval when it comes to reservations. A similar concept is extended to the carts module as well, where you can basically deny or approve requests that are coming in for card check-in, checkouts, or reservations as well. For details on how to go about configuring this in your account, please visit our blog on reservation workflows or reach out to us at support at easyofficeinventory.com.